Shoo! What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, I guess a huge shout out to Rex MD for sponsoring today's video. Boom! Right here, ladies and gentlemen, RexMD.com has FDA approved generic Viagra starting at just $2 per tablet delivered discreetly to your doorstep. Here's how it works. Just fill out a brief survey, and if appropriate, you can try a starter pack of generic Viagra. RexMD.com has helped over 100,000 men get generic Viagra from the comfort of their home. Like I said, they ship this to your doorstep discreetly. You open it up, this is what it looks like. This has all the information that you guys need right here. And then right there is your generic Viagra. There's no copay, there's no awkward doctor visits, and your shipping is always free. So if you're looking for generic Viagra, RexMD.com has made it fast, easy, and affordable. Starter packs for generic Viagra are available now for my viewers only through the link in the description down below, RexMD.com slash flair. That is RexMD.com slash flair. You can get your starter packs, click the link down in the description down below. Huge shout out to RexMD for sponsoring today's videos. Brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Well, folks, we've got Jerry. I know Jerry. So we got some more problems at the farm. It's like, dude, when it rains, it pours. Jerry, when it rains, it pours, Jerry. I know, buddy. We'll give you some grain. As you guys... Jerry, I know, buddy. You're not looking good, buddy. Come here. You want a little grain? I don't want to give you too much. He's eating, which is good. So, as you know, we lost Quattro. A couple days went by. Oh, he drank some water. That's good. We gave him some water. So, Quattro passed. Vet chalked it up as probably old age or, you know, no one really knows. A few days go by and all of a sudden, Jerry's not looking like Jerry should look. He's looking a little thinned out. He's limping around. But he doesn't look healthy. Uh, so, we called the vet. They come out. They checked him. They said there's a chance, potentially, he might have worms, which maybe could explain... Carol, you're in the naughty corner right now, okay? Just wait. Which could explain maybe why Quattro passed. They, like, the vets didn't say that necessarily, but everything is vaccinated. Everything's gotten their dewormer and whatnot. There's not a ton you can do. There are things you can do to prevent it. And so I did some Googling, looking up how do you prevent worms. So the biggest thing is that pasture they've been eating on is nibbled down to nothing. I kind of knew that would happen. Ralphie, he eats a lot, but they've always had hay. We give them a bale of hay probably once every two weeks when they run out, we give them a, we give them a new one, throw it over there and we're good to go. So they've always had hay, but they always have the grass pasture. What I talked to the vet about, and what I found on online is basically how animals can get worms is they eat the eggs of like the fly larva. Well, the fly larva is on the ground, not on the grass. And so when they're nibbling grass super, super close to the ground, they could be potentially eating eggs. So the fact that all that grass is super short means they might be eating the larva. And so I asked the vet, I said, so should I pull them off the pasture? And he's like, I mean, there's really not much you can do. Either, either they eat the short grass here, or they eat the short grass here. Like that's why you're supposed to rotationally graze them, which I understand. I don't have the space here. None of, nothing I here have have my house is fenced in enough to do something like that. I have the space. It's not fenced in enough to do it. Um, and we would have to put in, I mean, just perspective, this little two acre plot was $10,000 to fence it. So you're talking 20, 30, 40, $50,000 in fencing. If I wanted to fence in bigger pastures, it's not feasible at this time. And we've never had issues. I mean, I've had these animals now for two years, never really had issues with something like this. The good news is Jerry is eating. So we think we can save him. This is not blood on his back. It's like a pain reliever. One thing that happened yesterday though, we weren't filming. We came down to check on Jerry. We've been kind of nursing him. We set separated him. He's got his hay. He's got his food. He's got his water. We're trying to bring him back to health. But when we came down here before they were separated, Carol, Carol Baskin, she tends to flip people with her horns when she's trying to get food or something. The problem was they weren't trying to get food. They didn't have any food. Like we weren't feeding, we weren't actively feeding them when this happened. She flipped Jerry on his back and proceeded to stab him multiple times with her horns. I mean, beating the, you know what out of him and poor Jerry just laid there. We jumped the fence Right here, it happened in this corner. She cornered him and started beating him up. We got her away from him and uh, we ended up putting him by himself. So we called the vet. Vet came out, gave him a little bit of painkiller. That's why he, if you might see him limping today, the vet thinks Carol beat his ass. That's basically what happened. And oh, look, she's trying to do it to Ralph right now. Watch, she's moving them horns around. I mean, she's done it before. If you guys remember like the viral scene that happened when all the animals were running around in circles, she was chasing Jerry. And if you guys, I don't know where, what videos, if I could even find a clip, but I was like, no, Jerry, no. And I had to like stop Carol from beating Jerry's They've had beef since day one, but like not really anything to worry about. I mean, they have all the pasture to run around and, and stay away from each other. The only thing we could think of is the pasture grass up there is pretty much run out. They've eaten all of it and it's not growing season anymore. You know, we're, we're going right into fall and winter to where Carol and Jerry have had to spend more time than each of them would like with one another because there's one hay feeder and this is where they all get fed. And Carol has just beaten Jerry's ass. 
to the point where maybe he hasn't been eating much. She won't let him eat the grain. She won't let him eat the hay. All summer, we haven't had to worry about it because they've had unlimited grass, but now it's pretty much gone. I'm like tempted to go up there and start hacking down some of them trees and let them eat the leaves off of it. Like, not that I want to kill all the trees, but like pick a couple or they like cedar trees. Like we could go back here and knock down these trees and just pick them up with the excavator and throw them over and give them some fresh greens too. Like, especially Jerry, like that hay is fine, but it, I mean, it's old, you know, it's six months old. Like it's not fresh hay. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe that's what- Let's knock down taller stuff. Knock, knock down some limbs. Yeah. I say we should do that. Cause we were thinking like, should we leave them in the pasture? <laughs> if they're getting worms, but I feel like if they're getting worms up there, they're gonna get worms down here. Like there's no difference between it. So anyways, Jerry, we're nursing you back to health, my guy. He's vaccinated, he didn't, he shouldn't get worms, but he, see how skinny he is? He's not looking good. He didn't look like this like five, six days ago, but I think he might've been bloated to where, you know, we didn't actually like feel how much meat is on his skin. It was just like, he looked like Rick, a little thick boy over there. Look how thick Rick's looking. But all of that's like bloat. You can see he's just full of air right now. He's got to start passing gas like this. That's not meat, that's air. He's bloated right now, which just happens time to time as they eat whatever goats eat. What are you guys thinking? You guys want some grain? Why don't you go ahead and feed them some grain, Banjo? But we do have some, yeah, you just go ahead and throw it in some of those troughs over there. So we have a plan today. I do like the idea of cutting down some limbs. I think yeah. we should do that today. For Jerry, I might go grab the chainsaw and go walk back there and start cutting down some bigger stuff and then just pull saw, throw it in there so he can get some good greens. Keep them separate. I think we need to keep them separate till he looks super healthy. But we might just need to do that. I mean, look how many trees. We could spend days back there, literally just walk the excavator back there, dig down, rip up the roots, walk it over, throw it over. And you do that every other day and they have plenty of green stuff. So what we are gonna do today though, to help prevent Jerry and other animals from getting sick and dying, since we can't go build a $50,000 fence anytime soon, we are gonna build hay troughs. Now, feed troughs, not hay troughs. Now we've got these plastic ones. I mean, I've spent probably $500 on plastic troughs. I mean, some of these work. These are the ones that the donkeys are eating out of like this. See, this works. You don't want them to eat off the ground because when they're eating off the ground, they're eating around poop, which poop has flies and fly larvae in it. And so you've seen me throw it on the ground time to time I me mean, because I've never had a problem. I've done it for two years. You know, it's kind of just one of those things you don't really think you're gonna have a problem with until you do, but we've got a lot of scrap wood laying around. It's beautiful outside I and mean, beefcake construction is getting back in action this fall. So we've got a bunch of wood in the barn there. We're going to get some wood and we're going to build them some big, long, huge elevated feed bunks. So they should never have to eat grain off the ground again. That will help prevent them from getting worms. And then I would say we need to probably babysit these guys for a bit. I would say we should lock them down here. Don't let them go in the pasture because if one of them gets sick and like llama, I don't see llama more than like once a week because she's always up there doing llama things. So we need to make sure we keep an eye on everybody. I would still keep Jerry separate, lock them up from going up there. There's no grass for them to eat anyways. And then we will just substitute the grass with fresh trees and leaves plus their normal hay. But we want to build, I would say four, like one, two, and then two on the other side, right? Yeah. Big, I mean, 12 foot long feed bunks, big elevated out of scrap wood that we already have laying around. And so that's just kind of the plan. So we're trying to figure out how do we prevent our animals from dying? Okay, that's the goal here. And I mean, the vet was great, but he didn't give us an answer. He was just kind of like, animals are gonna eat off the ground, dude. There's nothing you can do about it. The best thing you can do is just encourage them not to. And so that's one thing we have control over. Since we give them the grain, we have control over where we put the grain and how they eat it. The other thing we're gonna try to do is move that barn over there. This barn's not bad. They haven't used this barn much. We're gonna move that barn over there and take the skid loader and scoop out all the poop because that's obviously just a fly breeding ground. Operation kill the flies. That is the plan today. First thing we're going to start with is getting some wood. And we brought the trailer down so we had a nice, I wouldn't say level surface. It's She's giving it a lean, but a nice surface to build on. So we can build the bunks on here, test them out, cut some limbs down for the animals, move the barns, clean it out. It's just a work day with the animals. A lot of you guys said this is the kind of videos you want to see when I said, hey, we can't do hunting videos on the main channel anymore. What do you want to see? People were saying just days out with the animals, improving, cleaning, like all these loose bins and trash. We're going to pick all this up today. By the end of it, the animal sanctuary should look cleaner and better than ever. So with that being said, stay tuned. That's a wheelbarrow full of wood. That's all the scrap stuff. So we want to repurpose it. We don't, wood's worth its weight in gold right now. Beefcake Construction's here to save you money. If you want some troughs built, don't call us because these probably won't work, but we're going to try. So the plan is build them like raised garden beds, but skinny, not super high off the ground. You got to realize like our animals aren't really, shoot, you're talking stubbies. Yeah. Like maybe, maybe not even this, huh? You don't want the goats to be climbing in it because then they'll yeah. break them. So maybe even a little less than that. So what are you thinking? What should we start with? We have two longish pieces of wood that are the same, like these guys that are skinny. So I think two of these side by side would be wide enough. Do you think? So that one's the same. That one's wide. That one's too wide. What's up with all the two by eights or tens, whatever these are? I didn't buy any of these. I think these came with my house. Those two aren't too terrible. So we're not gonna make 12 footers. We don't have that long of wood, but what do we have the most long of? That's what we need to not make legs with. So anything long, don't make a leg with. Yeah. Is what I would, that would be an easy like, rule. We only have one of, this is what I wanted to build it out of. We only have one. Wow, she's, that's real quirky. It looks like, it's like bandage, you see that? What do you think about that? I mean, that would be a wide daddy. Yeah. 
Like that's your, yeah. you like that or no? That's fine. Because we'd only have to cut off just a little bit. It's a little crooked, but I think I could probably make it work. Oh man, dude, we're gonna need a lot more wood than I thought. Cause we gotta build a frame. We might have to use that tall one and rip it in half. Kind of how we want to build it is put together a frame, tack it together, put two planks on top, flip it and add four legs and then you're done. Easy peasy, but we're gonna need, we're gonna need a lot of wood. Okay, that two by four could work as with the frame because it don't need to be super tall. This needs to be enough yeah. so grain don't spill out of it. You could use that plus, and need, so these are all two by fours? Yep. This might need, need more wood than we think. I thought we would definitely, I mean, we have enough to make some, but just not that many. Let's see. That's a short daddy, he ain't doing much. And he could work as an end. Why don't we lay it out? Yeah, bring that long guy. Before you do the ends, we need to figure out what the middle is, because that's how wide the ends are. So whatever you want to do for that. Lucy, why are you damp? Wow, hi, hello. That'd be the center of it, right? So yeah, slide those this way. Kind of like that. Think that would work? Yeah. Lucy, why are you damp? Why are you wet? You know. And then you just put up, take your little pencil and make that the gap. We're gonna need to run supports below it then. This just got real complicated. We thought this was gonna be easy. If there's a gap here and these aren't tat, what's stopping it from, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to run, not many, but like one. in the one. middle and two in the ends? Like probably, honestly, like two splitting, it would probably be fine. Which we, well, we have a lot of short wood. It's just, it's gonna be harder. Yeah. Lucy, we're gonna get flagged for animal fighting. We're gonna get flagged for dog fighting or something. You stop that. Where did she just go? She goes under you. Lucy. Yeah. No, like, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, we can worry about supports later, right? And that, that's an after the fact thing. So we need your end pieces. What would you like to use those? Two by fours probably? Something cheap and small and light? Do you think you can split that, or maybe that one in half? You think that would fit? Yeah, yep. yeah, I think so. yeah. I'm not sure who gave it one of them cuts. It's yep. like that, right? Oh, using scrap wood's gonna be fun. Then are you just gonna attach the legs to the outside right there? Yeah, the legs can be last. Yeah. So here's another question for you. Do you wanna attach this piece to this piece like this? That seems easy. Either that or you make it skinnier and you do that and then you shoot it the other way. There's two different ways of going about it. You get, you'll get a skinnier trough. Honestly, you put in more grain and like, the grain's not gonna overfill if you do it this way. No, you wouldn't think so, no. And I mean, either works, but. That gives you a little deeper trough. Ooh, in that case, I don't think you need supports. Your supports would be nailed yeah. down that way. Versus this way, you know what I mean? You're, yeah. you're not gonna have as much. I kind of like the look of that better. Yeah. Than you like it's, like it's a it. deeper. It looks more. It's a deeper trough. Yeah. And I don't think like this will matter. I don't think so either. Like and green's not gonna we'll fall shoot out. It, we'll shoot it from the other way. Yeah. It, it'll... Sure. Do that. So. Oh my wow. Gosh. You are damp. You are I wet. I am wet. Why did you jump on? Me? Hey! No! <laughs> oh my God! I'm cold. Get out of here. Go oh. play somewhere no, else. Wet. Why oh. are we? No! This is our workspace. No, Millie, Go. why are you wet? Get off. Go. She literally jumped on my leg. Dude, what do you, get off the trailer. Go, Lucy, fetch. Lucy, fetch. Oh my, I am so why damn. Why we bring them? Why I'm so damn. Why? <laughs> she literally parkoured off you. She's like, parkour! Yeah. <laughs> Just it kinda, it kinda hurt. <laughs> Okay, so with that being said, you can build the frame and then set these on top and then tack them in. So it'd be like that then, yeah. right? Or do you want to do it like that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. I mean, there's so many ways to build like workbenches like this. This is yeah. kind of what this reminds me of. It reminds me of a workbench build. There's so many ways to do it. Lucy, I will feed you to Carol. Get down. So that's going to be like that. We just need to measure that. Let's get to cut. All right, so I'm cutting this thing. 10 inches. Double check. What do they say? You measure twice, cut once. Okay, well, that's almost 10 inches. It's all right. A little bit, a little bit extra. For that. So, this is your scrap piece. Angel's on circular saw duty. Should I just try to get the blade to follow that or no? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> all right, here we go. Lucy, what are you eating? That's a part of the rooster we killed. Lucy, here. Lu oh my gosh, they got more. Why did I bring you? Gross. Let's pre fit this sucker. You want to tack her in like that, right? That's what I would think. We're doing it then. Ready, Banjo? Wow, did you bring a hammer? We're gonna need one. Use that block as your hammer. Not terrible. We'll tack her in tighter later. Looks square to me. Lucy, you're not helping, buddy. So that end's gonna be Should I just cut this to 10 inches? Yeah, That'd probably make life easier, huh? This one's gonna go to 10 inches. Throw that in there. Fit? Yeah, look good? Yeah. Should I just cut this after? Sure. Okay, 
Okay, lay your board on. How do we do? I don't know, it's Lucy approved. Oh, wait, how do we do that? Do we not measure the outside board? I thought this board was longer than our ends is what I thought, because yeah. this one was. I didn't yeah. realize I didn't it wasn't. I didn't think about that either. So that's flush? So I'm flush right now. How are you? About an inch? Uh, like four inches. What if you go okay. to... I'm at the edge right I'm now. Very, I'm right at the very okay, edge. Okay, that's fine. There's nothing to tack to. I can tell you that much. Yeah, I can tack to this corner. This. So oh, flush out to your left and right. And then this is flush. That looks like we already have a good gap. You don't want enough for grain, but you want enough for water to drain. So why don't we just tack this one in first? Okay, go so for you, you're good? Yeah. Look at that. Our ocean approved. They ain't going anywhere. One of them shanked out the side, but she ain't going nowhere. No. Flush up your end, because this one's long. Okay. And then take my pencil. We'll start at your end. And just put it that little gap. So if you see this pencil right here, it's about that. So that's how you'd space it. At least that's how I space it. Good there. Yep. So then same thing. If you follow me down, put the pencil and then squish it and I'll just keep going. Pull it tight. Love your trough to you. It'll do. Flip her over. Oh yeah. There's your grain trough. So let's take a saw. I gotta rip this end off. It actually looks better than I thought. Yeah. It looks decent. I think the gap's just about right. I mean, you're gonna get some grain to fall, but not, not a lot. Not a lot. All right, I gotta figure out how to do this. Gotta cut two different ways. Here, flip it up once. I'll come from the side. I can't get it close enough, but whatever. Close as I can get it. It'll be all right. Make legs out of this guy. Yeah, probably half that, huh? I mean, again, you're gonna want it pretty short, I bet. It's it's structure. I don't think we're gonna have a ton of grain loss through there. No, not much. It like pumps up. The rain's important because otherwise they're gonna have soggy grain. Yeah. No one likes soggy grain. All right, why don't we just measure what we have on the fence because that's a good height. Banjo, it's getting ready for harvest, buddy. Really? I think everyone can get into this pretty easily, right? Even like Dale's what? Dale's the shortest? You wouldn't want it too much taller for Dale. Maybe a little bit. So I say two feet because that's 22 inches. You could come up a couple inches. Well, you got to think however tall it is, you're going to have the rim, which is going to be another four inches. You know, so if you do 24, you're here. You're, the rim's probably right yeah. here. Okay, so maybe go down some. 16 inches. So right now he's eating out of... 24. I mean, 20. I'd almost put it a, at a foot. One foot? Because then it's going to be wider, too, so they'll have to... Because they're on for... Yeah, because that's just, like, skinny. You, what's that feeder? Hold Everything on. can get into that. Maybe about a foot, then. So the top is 18, so it'd be 14 inches, is what it would be to add that four-inch lip. Oh, what's up, big boy? Get them flies out of there, son. What's big boy Ralph? We can't lose you, Ralph. Tell them worms to stop messing with Ralphie, boy. Well, let's build the legs. Okay, okay, okay. Listen guys, I'm rusty. We've kicked instructions, taking a little hiatus. So I measured how tall do we want these off the ground? And what I meant by that is how tall from here to the ground? And I said 12 inches. So you're like, cool. How the hell do you get that on there? It really needs to be like this, but then that's too short. If we have some big winter storms, this thing will be covered in snow. So you gotta make it up off the ground. So I messed up. That needs to be like that, but that's too short. So it needs to be like that. So we need to cut new pieces of wood. The good news, this piece of wood, it's almost as wide as that. And we have four of them already. So now we have two more bunks worth of ends. So you don't waste it. We went from 12 and we needed to factor in. How about you got tape measure? Measure your uh, bottom to your top. And that's what you need to add. Five and six, yeah, call it six. six. So six so. plus 12 is 18. So you make them 18 inches, then you'll be in business. And that way, when you put your piece of wood here, we could put six nails in there. Cause that's, if anything's gonna break, it's gonna be the legs. Here's a question for you. Do you think it's necessary to have a middle set of legs? It wouldn't hurt anything. Like one, two, three. Yeah. I just know how rough these suckers yeah. are. Yeah. So why don't we cut six 18 inch long pieces of wood and tack them on the side so that we got some real good strength to them. And honestly, doing that will strengthen the bond between this piece of wood and this piece of wood because yep. there's gonna be a glued piece of wood right there. So the whole thing will be beefcake structurally sound. As you can see, only the best here at Beefcake Construction LLC. So drain it. Oh, make that side a little higher. Oh, true. Put, put it on higher. Oh, no, ground. low key though. Yeah. Low key. Should we make one side of hair higher though? That's yeah. actually not a bad idea. Yeah. I mean, Do one level. Like yeah. an inch. Dude, Banjo is smart. Look at this. Inches. The water can flow under there. So we we need shorties over here. So do 17s here and 18s over okay. there. That the was middle, smart. I like that. Middle 17 and a half. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's where you get dicey is your... Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, oh. okay. We might not be on to something here. I mean, what do you guys put on perfectly level no, ground? that's what I'm saying. Just find where it's I think we'll be okay. Think so it'll shoot 18 across yeah, the board. Yeah. And if, if we set it up and it's the opposite, then either flip it or we can just shave just it out. We can... Hole. Yeah, dig, yeah, a, dig a hole. Just put a little or, spacers under True. It. Big shim guy. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get to cutting. <laughs> 
See how four legs does. We might add a second row, but we might be okay. God, yeah. What do you think it'll withstand Ralph? Oh God, there's no way. If we threw some middle ones across, we could always do one in the middle. I mean, the question is, do you need more support? I don't know if we do. I'll add a bar below it, yeah. but I'm saying like leg oh, feet support. Leg wise, I, don't... I don't think so. Oh, it's just gonna add more weight, but there's no real weight to it. Yeah. So why don't we do this? Why don't we flip it? Maybe this guy to go. Ooh, it's so close. Actually, I might be able to make it work. It's gonna be really close. I don't want nails sticking up through the bone, yeah. but I think I can make it. It's not through it, because I can see the end of it. Let's see if they're gonna get shanked if they start eating. It's good. Look at that. We're good. I think that helped a lot. Now, oh, yeah. now it's strong. I'd say that's probably about all we need yep. right there. The easy DIY feed bunk. And I do like how it's heavy because it, sh it won't blow off. Yeah, it won't blow off. shouldn't be able to knock it over very easy. Do you yeah. want to give it to the big animals first? Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? Whoa. What are you doing? Hang on. Why? Ready? Yeah. This guy. Oh. You all right? Yeah. Carlos, this is for you, buddy. Just sit her down. What do you think of our DIY feed bunk? I like it. Got a little drainage in the middle, yeah, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, super straight, nice and <laughs> evenly cut. It's perfect. That's some good wood. These four are new. Yeah. Your dad just bought them. Those are gonna make our lives easy. Ralphie, what do you think, pal? Says, give me that feed bunk, I'm hungry. You think we can just lift it over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Ralphie moves. Ralphie, move. You gotta get your leg over. There we go. Dale, move. I feel like it's gonna work. It's like, it looks like perfect height. <laughs> That's awesome, thinking, Pedro. The, no, oh. Dale, Dale, get off the truck, Dale. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Oh God, Carol, Dale, you better move. Oh my gosh, Dale, you're gonna get the Dale, Jerry get treatment. Out of there. You're gonna get Jerry treatment. Dude, he's gonna get flung out of there. He'll learn. Hey, right hey, here, right here. Oh, oh, did you see that? All it takes is a horn up and you won't do that again. I tell you, we've been there, done that. Look, the grain doesn't fall through. It's falling through a little, little there. Did that all fall through through that? That's actually quite a bit. We might have to shorten the drainage gap a little yeah. more. Okay, see, so this is good. This is why we did this because I would make the gap smaller. It's moving quite a bit, actually. See yeah, that? we can make the gap smaller. On this side, it was smaller. I think it was because it, it the, the board was warped. Like so. right here, look, the grain can't even go yeah, through. Got it. Straighter wood would help. Straighter wood would definitely help. I mean, I look at it though. though. It looks amazing. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't do this a long time. Oh wow. I got to cut somewhere, I probably shouldn't show that. It looks good though. Oh God, Carol, Carol, don't give him the Jerry treatment. Ralph, <laughs> it's falling through it pretty good. So one thing we could do, we could take some silicone and we could fill it from the bottom and then just pop holes in it. Do you think that would be better? We didn't want to have to deal with drilling holes because it's going to take a while. Yeah. That might be easier. Like if you put like a screen in there and like stapled it down or something, they might, they like might rip it out. Staples out or yeah. rip it out and just be eaten. Cause like over here, it's literally just that half. If that side's lower, we even thought about that, like making the feet a little taller so and have it. Cause that's, is that, no, that's the end that drains, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, quite a bit fell, quite a bit more fell. Over here, not as much. Maybe let's just aim for not doing a gap or as little of a gap as we can. Yeah. And then this is a thought. Do you think water would go through a slot the size of the circular saw blade? What if we did it and we flipped it upside down and I ran my blade through it and I ran it right where the creek should have been and it'll only be the width of the blade and i don't think grain would go through that do you think water would go through it yeah you like that idea yeah smash them together as tight as we can yeah. assuming there's no gap you know get the blade to go down in it and then i just rip it and it would create i don't know how wide a blade is but not wide maybe let's try that on round two everyone's enjoying the new new trough and we got some new wood so that way we're not picking apart i mean we'll use the wood we have but it's nice to have we're like good straight two by fours for the edges and whatnot so anyways once built let's go build a second one solid buddy we made a little baby one a little miniature i think we're making progress this one's pretty stable it's just a little wee guy so we'll set it down here you should get to jerry and sure get, let's see if jerry likes it jerry wake up jerry hey we're gonna bring you some food buddy right here yeah right here. we're gonna bring you some food pal wakey wakey jerry new trough who this what you think buddy you want a little bit more grain yeah, nothing's spilling that time. I don't think so. Jerry, what do you think about the new truck, pal? You like that? Mm. 
Carol, we already gave you green, Carol. Jerry, hang in there, pal. We don't need to be losing you, pal. He's not looking as skinny as he was. He's filling out. He's eating quite a bit of grain, which I know I'm trying not to overfeed him, but that's where he's gonna get his energy. And he's got his water right there, and he's got a hay pile up there, but Peter looks good. Let's build one more. Boys. That's a big daddy. This is 12 footer. Biggest one yet. Eight. Eight. We cut it? Remember these are eight. Oh yeah, oh, yeah the eight footer, you're right. I don't think our other one was eight foot, was it? It looks about like the first one. Yeah, it's gotta be a little longer than the first one, maybe. Maybe it's maybe a little the same. Bit. So we built them three different ways, all three times. This one we made shallow. Most of the other times we we were putting the boards on top of the wood because we had two pieces of wood. This time we only used one piece of wood, so we put the wood on the outside. There's not a whole lot of drainage, so we're gonna drill some holes in here so that way it can all drain out. And then the legs just tacked onto the side. It ain't pretty, but it's good work. It looks good. I think the animals will like it. So I think we put it on I think Jerry's side. Yeah. That way there's one long, one short, and then there's one long and then the old hay feeder the square bale feeder which we put grain in could act as the short one so that way it's, it's even so let's go take it to the other side jerry we got you another bunk buddy you got double feast now you don't know what's going on right here yep yeah there jerry. you go <laughs> jerry come jump in this let me know what you think oh he's peeing jerry were you still munching on the grain buddy i don't want you to eat too much you're gonna get a tummy ache my guy he's still munching which design do you like the best i need to go look at this other one this one's probably structural pretty good just doesn't have any drain there's no drainage. I think our first one is the best. You see, it's the widest, the deepest, and they're all good. I think they're all serve their purpose. They even you, they, I put in a support bar in case your big ass jumps in it and breaks through the floor and gets stabbed by a nail. Cause that sounds like something Dale would do. So I put in extra support in the other ones, okay? Just for you, big guy. Troughs are done. Can you guys just not get worms, please? Don't get worms, Dale. We don't need you dying out here, buddy. Project of the day number one complete. On to number two. Alrighty, folks. Operation See If Carol's the Killer Cow. Jake's here. You said that they were fighting earlier yeah, on the opposite side of the fence. They were each other on the through, through the fence. So Jerry is not. Dale, get out of the. We didn't build this for you to have a jungle gym. Although we could build a jungle gym if you guys want to see that video. Oh yeah, we do have two spools. See, we could build something with that. Dale likes that. So we were talking to Jake. He said when he was down here earlier, he saw Carol. I don't know what mad cow disease is, but she doesn't seem very happy. We need to get them flies off you, Carol. Carol flipped Jerry on his back and was just absolutely beating his ass yesterday which is why they're separated now we were talking about how jerry was on this side of the fence carol was on the other and jake said carol was like trying to like ram it to get to him so we don't know why carol tries to beat up jerry we have yet to figure that part out and then we started wondering we're like what if carol killed quattro i know it sounds like a stretch i know we didn't think anything anything of it they've been together forever but also why is carol trying to kill jerry because look at him i mean he's not healthy it looks like she probably maybe every time he was trying to get to the feeder or the feed she would get him out of the way i mean we're not here 24 hours a day to notice who's eating the hay. You know, we just assume everybody's eating it because it's, it's a free-for-all. The fact that Jake said Jerry and Carol were fighting across the fence tells me like it's more than just Jerry being in her territory. She's after him. What we're going to do, since we said we're going to cut some branches. See, Jerry hasn't even eaten all his grain. Hey, you're going to get a tummy ache, buddy. You're going to get a tummy ache. We're going to let all the animals over here with Jerry. I know you might be like, well, that's a stupid idea. Why would you do that? But we're going to do it. There's four beefcakes here to watch if anything happens. But what we're going to try to do is take some fresh branches, throw them on this side, have all the animals go on this side, lock them in so then we can peacefully move that barn and clean up that pen get it ready and then we'll switch them and we'll put everybody else on the other side and we're not going to move that barn because that barn's actually fine but we'll pick up some of this trash and then we'll separate jerry again if we think carol's being mean isn't that right buddy you're gonna make it all right you can go ahead and open the gate we just got to get everybody to the other side and banjo and i are gonna get to cutting so stay tuned <laughs> tree we're taking out because this is on our trail and look how much more turning room we have now before it's like ralph let's get these branches over to the boys Chuck for poison ivy son of a bitch. where's my gloves <laughs> they're poison ivy probably <laughs> i haven't got poison ivy this year i'll be all right you just <laughs> saying that <laughs> what's this vine strat is it gonna yeah. kill me yeah i'm getting i gotta get gloves i ain't doing it you can poison ivy in your taint you let me know if you're gonna start barehanding freaking limbs ralph you gotta come over here Rick, move. Jerry, stay away from Carol. She wants to kill you, buddy. The one time we didn't bring the pole saw. Eat that apple. Is this an apple tree? No. What is that? I'm guessing that comes toward a hedge ball. I think they would like, oh, I might kill him. I shouldn't. Whoa, it smells like a lemon. 
What kind of tree is this sucker? It smells super sweet. Lucy, watch out, buddy. <laughs> oh, you got it. What a beefcake. And right in Rick's face. That's right, he likes it in the face. Carol, get over here and eat the leaves. Ralphie. Carol. Ralph. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Carol, be nice to Jerry. Hey. Knock it off. You ever seen the movie The Land Before Time? No. It's like a children's movie with dinosaurs back when we were kids. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. With like the long neck guys. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This reminds me of Land Before because they eat the trees and yeah, way on their way up. Is this not smell like a? It just smells like a fruit. Sweet. Yeah, it's really like sweet. No. You do, you die. I think it's a hedge ball, but I'm not sure. Jerry? I mean, dude, he's wandering around in grave. Okay, Carol. Carol. This is, does not seem like a super sick goat. He's snapping out of it, I think. You should have seen him yesterday. He couldn't hardly walk yesterday. <laughs> really? Oh, God, Carol, what are you doing, buddy? Look at her. She's not even eating. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, yeah, the donkeys are coming. We gotta make sure we get all them down. You gotta come over here for the good good. Ralphie! No, you gotta go round. Ralphie, get your long neck over this side. He's just gonna climb over the fence. There, llama, come on, llama. Buddy, you gotta walk. Walk him around with this. Yeah, Ralph ain't fake. Ralph, get, you're gonna break the fence. What's the real long dinosaur? They're vegetarians, I remember yeah. that. The real long neck suckers. He looks just like one of them guys. You know your dinosaurs or no? No, not really. Oh, What's okay. the long one with the long neck? That eats only trees and He don't eat long other dinosaurs. Long dinosaur. Yeah, no he'll idea. get it. He's got it. Well, yeah, isn't that it? Bra 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 Brachiosaurus? Yeah. That sounds something like that, probably. Come on, donkeys. The forks is probably the thing they used to move the barn better than the bucket, and then I'm gonna have to come back for... No, it probably don't matter, does it? No. I'm gonna put the bucket on. You guys wanna get started drilling holes yeah. and getting eye bolts put in, and then we'll get the toe strap, and we'll move this barn. Stay tuned. You? as tight as I can get it. Hey, how's it going? First time the dog's been in the pen, probably a, a year and a half. Since we got donkeys? Because donkeys will beat their ass. So we gotta make sure the donkeys don't actually break out. You seen Jerry get his yet? I think they're fine. They're busy eating. That's the thing. Once the food starts running low, you think? I don't know. Dude, what would make more sense though than Carol killing Quattro and G? Like, how else were they gonna die? Just randomly. Yeah, I don't know. And like, we had the vet come out. He's like, I don't think it's worms, but we can go ahead and give him an extra booster just in case. She is targeting G right now. And I'm, I don't know what the deal is. But anyways, we're keeping an eye on them. They seem to be doing all right. The strat right now, big side bolt right there hook the chain around do it on the other side pick up just a little bit just to get it undone and back the skiddler straight back and we should be able to move this and get all this poop out of here get my nice clean barn so let's get the other side put in <laughs> that one a little bit better you want to hand that nut around Tight as we can get. Maybe that. We just both hold it and then you get it tight. So I'll pull the skid loader forward, take the strap and run it through the bucket to the other one and we'll get okay. even with it and then I'll lift up. Okay. Tight. Tight enough, yeah. That wasn't bad. It's gone worse. There's yeah, been. I was just thinking, what if you just like move them every so often? If you left it here, so we're right leaving here. it right here. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Well, I thought you were gonna scoop it out and move it back. No, no we, uh, we scoop it out and leave and it leave here. It. Oh, okay. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. In, so okay. in four months we like, move it back. Move it where? I'm yeah. so confused. I thought you meant you want to move it back. No, 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 no. no. You scoop it. No, this is where it originally yeah. sat, and then we moved it all okay. the way. So I'm like, you know. we started it over there, and we we've scooted it three times, and then we need to scoot it back basically. Yeah. But see, now they've got fresh dirt where they don't have a lot of poop. I mean, we got through most of it. About as far as I can go. I mean, this is good because look, there's no flies, not many. We do have the fly bags, which I know people have commented it tracks flies. What's the alternative to not attract them? Like, you still it still catches millions of flies. It's weird looking at the water though on that side though. It's like tripping me out right now because it's like not where it used to be. But barns moved. I'm gonna get to scooping. Lucy, oh my, Lucy. <laughs> Get out of Here. the- No! Get out of there. Why? Do you want to smell like a Is that your goal in life? Is it smell like a Barn's moved. Time to get to Hooper Scoop. Stay tuned.
constructed by uh Oh yeah, we built that. How heavy is it? It's not heavy, but I, I was just lazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if there's much for them to climb on this thing yeah. all broke. Is this a hazard? You want some scissors? Really? Yeah. The top's good. I don't I mean we could rip that off though and they could just jump yeah. on the top. They don't sure. need to step their goats. This used to okay. be the OG picnic table yeah, when, when we first got Rick. Karen, Felipe, and Rick. Rick. Yeah. And then Felipe knocked up Karen and we sold them both. Yeah, we can just carry it. Hang on. What the <laughs> something on it? It's like stuck <gasps> in the ground. Oh, it's just dirt around it. See that? Yeah, it's like died. Rip. I mean, if we all jump on it, I bet we can. Oh, you're... Wait, what the... Look at the hole coming here. That was one hand. Come on, my guy. Wait, how did he do that? <laughs> Some nice mud you made. You like that mud? Yeah. Rick! I guess that's... Dude, if we start a podcast called the Whole Out Podcast, we have to film in the animal Dude, pen. I was thinking about that earlier. Oh. I was like, that would be awesome. Rick just comes and messes with We get with nothing you. done, but it wouldn't matter. It'd be hilarious. If you guys want to see the Whole Out Podcast, maybe that's what we turn the second channel into. It's just the Whole Out Podcast. I think it'd be great. Imagine setting up and just having Rick jump up on the podcast and knock the mic over. That'd get old after about the second episode, it's but it'd be funny. Like, right? We would definitely have like five episodes and then just quit. I'll be like, you know what? We're done. Ooh, is the gate open? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh God! I was like, "Hold up, boys!" I was wondering what you were doing. We're about to have llama, dude. You, llama gets out. You ain't get llama back. No, yeah, she don't like. That. Okay, we're good. Jerry, you doing all right, buddy? Jerry, we gave you a bunch of branches. Rick, be nice to Jerry. He's fragile right now. He's a fragile boy. You need to take him under your wing and protect him from Carol. Carol's the number one suspect in the homicide. Quattro. I'm not sure about this. I can fend the animals. I was gonna say, you guys just open it, fend them, and I'll just drag it in. I got the animals. Okay. I ain't worried. You got them. You get the gate. Jerry, come on, buddy. Ralph? I don't, well, I, hey, I don't know about getting Ralph, though. I don't know about all that. <laughs> you said the animals. Ralph, Dale, Jerry. All right, go, 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 go. Hang on. Rick's getting no, sure. Jerry. 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 Back pick of the gate. Can y'all get through that? Yep. I got Jerry. All right. Nelly, get out. Oh. Look, Brick, this is for you. I did it for you, pal. Move it where you can't jump you don't like that? out of here. Yeah, we'll move it. Oh, Ralph, get on. Get on, Ralph. Oh, he says, I'm king of the mountain, boy. You will Damn. see some WWE Smackdown stuff on here. They'll climb up top and they'll leap and then smack each other, dude. Oh, yeah. Felipe and Rick used to just RKO each other all the time. They're wild. Hey, we gotta move this a little way. Cubby, come on. We just gotta hop down. Come on, come on. Dale, get down. Get down, Dale. Okay, go ahead. Where are we going with it? Right here? Yeah, right there. Pony a podcast. Yeah. Soon. Imagine this. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Hoya podcast. We got Dale joining us today. Hoya. Hoya. Give him a Hoya, Dale. I like it. I'm thinking we do it. Millie, what the? Bill. Well, what do you think about Jerry? What's he doing? Staring at walls and stuff. That's what happened to every animal we've had pass away as they do that. They just stare? Yeah, they stare. Yeah, he's doing better than most, most of them though. He just peed and pooped. I feel like that's a good thing. If he's drinking water, he's eating, he's peeing and pooping. I don't know, that's living. I don't know what else is living besides that. So, what are you thinking? Think we put everybody on the back other side and give Jerry his space? Sure. I'd say we gotta give Jerry at least like a week. I mean, until yeah. he stops looking like he's about to die and it makes sure Carol, Carol's happy. She's eating all these branches. So at least she's happy. We can always throw the branches on the other side and Oh, yeah. Excuse me. All right. <laughs> Why does he do that? A mid sentence, he's just like, I'm arrived. I've arrived. I'm here. Yeah. Well, we got the barns moved, poop scooped. The boys got, well, scooping poop. They cleaned out all the bins. We have no loose bins. Every bin in here is worth something. We got them a table, a little jungle gym action. We got them new troughs. I mean, we took four hours today and dedicated it to the animals, get them back up and running. Cause obviously we have a problem. Either Carol is the killer or we've got an illness. But like I said, we had the vet come out. He didn't see any illnesses that he thought were prevalent. Like, I mean, he's vaccinated everybody and everything. So at this point, it's just kind of whatever happens, happens, but we're making efforts to create an extremely healthy and happy environment for all the animals. So if you have any tips, tricks, if you're like, hey, don't do that. Cause this could be causing this. Or if you know what's happened to my buddy, Jerry, you have to let me in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys will enjoy today's video. We'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.